Carabao Cup is reaching its boiling point. The quarterfinals are here, and the draw has delivered some mouth-watering clashes. Four Premier League giants remain, each with a point to prove. Two London derbies add extra spice to the mix. Get ready for a feast of football as the battle for Wembley intensifies. This year's quarterfinals have a distinct feel. For the first time in 14 years, no EFL Championship or League One teams remain. The Premier League's elite have taken control. This sets the stage for high-stakes battles, where every misplaced pass and missed tackle could be decisive. The Carabao Cup, often seen as the little brother of English football's domestic cups, is now a battleground for giants. The pick of the quarter-finals sees Tottenham Hotspur host Manchester United in what promises to be a thrilling encounter. These two titans of English football have a long and storied rivalry, dating back decades and filled with memorable moments. Their matches are always fiercely contested, filled with passion and drama, often leaving fans on the edge of their seats. Recent history suggests a tight encounter, with both teams evenly matched and capable of producing moments of brilliance. Tottenham are finding their feet under new manager Ange Postacoglu, who has brought a fresh approach and new tactics, while Eric Ten Hag is still shaping his Manchester United side, instilling his philosophy and vision. Both teams boast attacking talent capable of turning the game in an instant, with quick incisive plays and clinical finishing. Harry Kane, Tottenham's talismanic striker, will be eager to add to his impressive goal tally and lead his team to victory. For Manchester United, the creative spark of Bruno Fernandes and the finishing prowess of Marcus Rashford will be crucial as they look to break down Tottenham's defence. The midfield battle will be equally important, with both teams looking to control the tempo and dictate play. Yves Bissouma's energy and tenacity could be key for Tottenham, providing the drive and determination needed, while Casemiro's experience and tactical nous will be vital for Manchester United, offering stability and leadership in the heart of the pitch. The second London derby of the quarter-finals sees Arsenal welcome Crystal Palace to the Emirates Stadium, a venue known for its electrifying atmosphere. This clash promises goals and excitement, with both teams eager to make their mark. Arsenal, flying high at the top of the Premier League, are in exceptional form. They will be confident of progressing further. Their attacking brand of football has been a joy to watch this season, with the likes of Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Jesus in scintillating form, consistently delivering standout performances. Crystal Palace, however, will be no pushovers, determined to make their presence felt. Under the guidance of veteran manager Roy Hodgson, who brings a wealth of experience, they are a well-organized and disciplined unit, capable of stifling even the best teams. Wilfred Zaha, capable of moments of individual brilliance, will be their main attacking threat, always ready to exploit any defensive lapses. The key for Crystal Palace will be to frustrate Arsenal and silence the home crowd, turning the pressure onto the hosts. If they can do that, they have the quality to cause an upset and make a significant impact. This match is set to be a thrilling encounter with both teams leaving everything on the pitch. Section 4. Battle for Tyneside, Newcastle vs Brentford St James's Park will be rocking for the clash between Newcastle United and Brentford. Newcastle, revitalised under their Saudi-backed ownership, are aiming for silverware. Their passionate home support will create a cauldron of noise, urging their team on. Bruno Guimaraes, their midfield maestro, will be at the heart of everything Newcastle do. Brentford, known for their tactical flexibility and never-say-die attitude, will provide a stern test. Ivan Tony, their clinical striker, will be a constant threat to the Newcastle defence. The Bees will look to exploit any spaces on the counter-attack and will be dangerous from set pieces. This match could be a tight tactical affair. Section 5. Saints seek upset Southampton vs Liverpool. The final quarter-final sees Southampton host Liverpool at St Mary's Stadium, a venue known for its passionate home support. Liverpool, the current holders of the Carabao Cup, will be looking to continue their dominance in the competition, having won it multiple times in recent years. However, they have been inconsistent this season with fluctuating performances and will need to be at their best to overcome a determined Southampton side that is eager to prove themselves. Southampton, despite their struggles in the Premier League, will see this as an opportunity to salvage their season and make a statement. They will be hoping that home advantage, coupled with the pressure on Liverpool to progress, will work in their favour, creating an electrifying atmosphere. James Ward-Prowse, their set-piece specialist and captain, will be a key figure, with his ability to deliver precise free kicks and inspire his teammates. For Liverpool, the return to form of Mohamed Salah will be crucial. The Egyptian forward has been a standout performer, and his influence on the game cannot be understated. The Egyptian forward's pace, trickery and goal-scoring ability will be essential if Liverpool are to avoid an upset and continue their quest for silverware this season. 
Section 6. A Cup Up for Grabs The Carabao Cup quarterfinals promise to be a thrilling spectacle. With four intriguing matchups, anything is possible. Will the favourites prevail, or will we see some shock results? One thing is for sure. The battle for a place at Wembley is well and truly underway.